Portugal's defense minister officially announced that the Portuguese Air Force will receive the initial batch of five Embraer A-29N Super Tucano aircraft before the year ends, as part of a 12-plane acquisition deal. This move is integral to a larger €200 million Euro modernization plan designed to enhance Portugal's aerial combat and pilot training abilities while reinforcing its NATO commitments. Of the total investment, €75 million Euro will be directed to domestic defense firms to upgrade the jets to meet NATO interoperability standards. The contract, inked in December 2024 between Portugal's Ministry of National Defense and Brazil's Embraer, includes the supply of 12A-29N aircraft alongside an extensive support system comprising a high-fidelity flight simulator and logistics assistance. This procurement is embedded within Portugal's military programming law framework, updated in August 2023 to finance the Close Air Support Initiative. Funding under this law allocates €180.5 million Euros for aircraft acquisition and related operational support, with an emphasis on boosting Portugal's defence industrial base. The Embraer A-29 Super Tucano, a turboprop aircraft widely used by over 15 air forces globally, is celebrated for its reliability and efficiency in light attack and training roles. The NATO-specific A-29N variant includes secure communication systems, NATO-compliant identification friend or foe, IFF, technology, encrypted data links, and advanced avionics, tailoring it for allied operational demands. Its capability to operate from rudimentary airstrips and perform multiple mission types, such as reconnaissance, counterinsurgency, and close air support, makes it a cost-effective asset for modern air forces. Powered by a Pratt & Whitney PT-6A, 68C engine delivering 1,600 shaft horsepower, the A-29N can reach speeds near 590 km per hour and operate at altitudes exceeding 35,000 feet. The cockpit features a glass display, HOTA's controls, night vision compatibility, and mission-specific sensors like EO-IR systems. It can carry up to 1,500 kilograms of external weapons across five hardpoints, enabling diverse payload configurations suited for training and combat engagements. Globally, the A-29 platform serves forces including the U.S. Air Force, which deployed it in Afghanistan and for experimental light attack roles, as well as air arms in Colombia, Nigeria, Indonesia, and the Philippines. These operators highlight the aircraft's robustness in challenging environments and its minimal upkeep needs, making it ideal for low-intensity conflicts. Portugal's integration of the A-29N complements its broader effort to modernize its air fleet. This includes the recent procurement of KC-390 transport aircraft and upgrades to existing F-16 fighters, alongside preparations for future NATO-driven fighter programs. The A-29N will fill the crucial gap between basic trainers and advanced jets, improving pilot throughput while adding flexible operational capabilities for both national defense and international missions. With the first planes arriving by the end of 2025 and the full dozen operational by 2026, Portugal is poised to enhance its air combat readiness and training efficiency in alignment with NATO and European Union defense priorities.